I'm here with Nicolas Saru and Francois de Chazelle of ADMCS. Thank you for being here. Thank you too. Nicolas, how did you get involved in supply chain? My family is in container business transport to 60 years. My grandfather was the first to make container transport in the east region of France, of Alsace. And I work in the firm on 25, 25 years old. Great. So you've been here a while doing this. Um, Francois, how does your company help not only with technology, but also with the physical design of the supply chain process, such as shipping and receiving? Um, well, the um, container management business is uh, plagued by uh, tremendous waste. Actually, the uh, software currently um, that I, which are used along the container journey are all siloed. And uh, so what we're doing is um, we're building an optimized software end-to-end um, targeting 20% savings on the, on the overall um, process. So th the project has a software part, which is underway, and it also has a uh, infrastructure part, because we're building terminals, uh, eco-terminals, uh, so because the uh, current terminals are saturated and we need to address the uh, environmental issues. What is your vision for the impact that your efforts will have on the climate? Uh, well, precisely, um, we believe our project is really um, a very important project uh, for the market because these are the world's first eco terminals we're building. They are really looking at um, uh, using self-sufficient renewable energy, treating wastewater, uh, reducing the uh, noise and visual pollution of the terminals, and at the same time, um, at the same time, the software will um, enable users of uh, containers, transporters, etc., to choose to find the right proper ratio between cost and ecological uh, consequences. It's important to say that eco terminals was fully autonomous. No pollution visual, no pollution carbon, on autonomous with electric. So interesting. I look forward to the future. Francois, Nicolas, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you, you very too. much, Ashley.